we, we don't like ourselves, okay? Uh, you know, we figured, you know, Blood Angels is all fun and games, but how can we make, make painting them more sucky? And so the answer is Lamenters, obviously. Uh, but also, they, they sort of look cool. Uh, but getting to the cool factor is the challenge. So we're going to try something out here, see if it works. So if it doesn't work, you will never see this. And if it does work and you're watching this right now... The thing that we want to try out starts go uh, entirely purple I don't think we leave any black maybe if the primer was better uh, better applied like it's like it's not covering fully maybe if it was covering fully we'd leave some of the black but because it's so spotty and uneven we'll just go full-on purple action and of course we don't need to pay extra attention to like the the gun because it's not gonna stay like that it's not gonna you know be yellow uh, in any way but we do want to pay attention to the hand here. And I also want to pay like a lot of attention to the the bottom or the underneath part of the, the mini. Because then we can fix all that primer that was not great. And that's where all the shadows reside. And that purple is there to give us like some cool, cool shadows. So now what we're going to do is we're going to dump this. But we're not really going to rinse. Well, no, well, no let's, let's rinse it all. Again, we're, the reason we're rinsing it all is if we wanted to do a full army of this, we could not work with like a, a half Z mix or a leftover mix. Airbrush mostly clean. So now we're gonna go straight with white. Okay, we're not we're not dilly dallying. We're not half highlighting. We're going straight with white. Good old. Focus up, buddy. Focus up, camera. I know you can do it. You've done it before. There we go. Matte white. I really like this one from the Army Painter. The the air the air white is one of my favorite. I use it with a brush all the time too, it's uh, definitely grown on me. So we're gonna highlight our guy here, like we would like a normal, normal space marine if you will. But it's it's white on purple, right? So so we have to be, we have to start like very slowly and then build it up. So it's hard to see what you're doing, but we figured it out. Okay, all right, come back here, buddy. But all these top parts here, they should be mostly white anyway, right? There's no reason for them to be anything else. Because they would be the, the most highlighted area of our miniature anyway, so. Another Berserker turn red and only... How? What's your uh, what's your painting pro? That would be interesting to do. Uh, would, okay, so we're building up that thing. So we're leaving, uh, again, plenty of purple. And now we're going we're gonna to set this aside exactly. We're not cleaning it. And we're going to take our Drushi Violet and we're going to go for like kind of one even coat type of thing because it's going to go mostly in the recess. Our goal is for this to go mostly in the recesses. So I'm not letting it pool at all. I'm not putting too much. I don't want this to be like wet. Like on this shoulder blade, look how a little purple is there, but it makes a line. Right, so that's exactly what I'm what I'm interested in, and I'm also not letting it dry in the middle of the place. That we're never gonna speak of again. Oh yeah, also if you're not like subscribed on on YouTube, please go right ahead. I'll just put the link here. Maybe maybe uh, our friend the green one. So as I said, if you're if you're not following on the YouTube, I would greatly appreciate it because we are uh, about the halfway point to me earning some some of that YouTube money eventually. You know, like pennies on the dollar, but that's that's fine. And also because the Green Wombat asked me earlier about the Discord link, so uh, the Discord link is there. So what we have now is very interesting. So it's again mostly white, but all the crevices are back to super dark purple. So I like this a lot. So now what we can do is just focus very, very much a uh, uh, focus that we want some, some of that like light color, right? Like top of the helmet is a good place. So overall, I'm happy with the, the transition of like white to purple. And the last thing, we're going to drop this into our palette here. Now the last kind of like step before we, bef before it looks anything like what we want. Okay, back to the main. Take our white here and we're going to take a small-ish brush. And we are going to add some edge highlights, some extra crispy edge highlights. I took a small brush this time, I don't know. But now, now's a good moment to add some, again, very nice, very thin edge highlights. As much as your heart desires. Which my heart does not desire that many, to be fully honest. I like a couple of key ones. I 
All right, so now purple, white, purple shade, very light, airbrushing white, couple of edge highlight lines here and there. This is what we get. Now we're going to take Eon Den Yellow. It's a contrast. I'm pretty sure you can do the same thing with a shade or a wash or even paint that you thin down. Like, And we are going to airbrush this in thin coats. Okay, we're going to make Duncan proud. I mean, well, we tried a bunch of versions, but this is definitely not... This is way more advanced because Slap Shop is like very basic and foolproof. This one is the, a, a little bit more advanced uh, thing. It, it also features a lot more airbrush and it's it's an actual color instead of black underneath. So the, like there's a lot of... Because uh, like Slap Shop is not like an, an invention, if you will. It's, it's a technique that's been like around for uh, a while. The guy just like gave it a name and it became popular. With The, the contrasts are like perfect for that. So he, he made a video and then it went bonkers. But uh, that technique's been around since forever, and then this version here is a lot more uh, kind of advanced because we got like a lot of like technique in there. Like, like you know, it's not just like a dry brush; it's two highlights and then an edge highlights and a shading. Like it, it, it's it's a little bit more. But def it's in the same realm where the, the what we're doing is is essentially st staining or pre-shading and then uh, and then coloring. You know. Look, Jesus, look at that fucking shoulder plate. This is insane. So the the hard part is kind of like getting because we, we're working like with even coats, but the hard part is getting the like the spots that you miss or the hard spot the hard spots to get without like. Okay, I'm uh yeah okay I like this. This is like wow. Okay, I'm I'm sh I'm I'm sold. Okay, Ian then yellow over the purple and the white mixy mixy. Let's see here. So now let's do um, let's do black. And again, we'll use the airbrush version. We'll, we're using it with a brush, but we'll do. But I, I, li I like the airbrush one a lot. And let's turn this one into like exactly like a kind of a speed paint thingy because this this yellow is kind of dumb. Again, this one with the gun here and trying not to hit our yellow, this is... This almost looks like a, an angry marine. Okay, I like this. Next up, let's do some uh, silver. This is like a really good like golden, golden yellow color, I really like it. So because we just did the little uh, like reactor thing, and we're going to do another part in silver instead. I'd just like to have one part of the backpack that's not like the main color. Now the fun part. Well, we can kind of highlight this and shade. The, we can like kind of finish the marine there, the shoulder plate, you know, which is really all all you need to all you need to learn. Really, we'll use just dark reaper here for uh, our black highlights. <laughs> And again, if you get like carried away with this one, it's okay. We just add a shade of black. Null oil is the great equalizer in this situation. Let's, do, let's just kind of finish the what we have, and then then do the shoulder plate. That's the again. We're kind of being careful here with our shading. We don't want to put it on the yellow because it will oh make a good old good old fashioned mess. And I'm not really like displeased with the highlight, so I'm not gonna do it on the black. But you could again if if you went too heavy. Yeah. Okay. All right. So now for our shoulder plate, we're gonna start with Celestra gray. It's the best. This is the best gray. And we're just gonna paint this entire shoulder plate here, being very careful around the trim. And this is gonna be like a two coater. Okay. So we're just gonna do the like the entire shoulder plate. We're not we're not worried about the the circle in the middle. We're not worried about the little, little checker. But I mean, it, it could very well be an Imperial Fist. Okay, so we got our, our well, this is gray. And now we're going to highlight this with with the white. Again, again, we're not worried about our little checker pattern type thing. Normally, you wait for this to dry, right? So you do a couple, and then by the time you're done with the, the last... And then, uh, and just so you guys can compare the, like, uh, how dark this one is, this is our Howling Griffin that we just did. 
And then look at, like, both both of these yellow have, like, a lot of depth in them. But, like, look at the difference between the two. It's, it's just amazing. Okay, so now checker. I full disclosure, I've never done checkers ever with a with a brush. However, I so the strategy here and now theirs is even fucked up because like if you were to do this on a flat surface, at least it would be, uh, you know, all squares. But because this is like a a round a round three D area, it, it's not even like a straight up like checkers. It 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 bends and folds and whatnot. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna make. Uh, our first Siri in the, the dead center. And we're go not going to do lines, we're going to do dots. So we'll work with lines that, that mirror the bottom of the... Um... Again, this is an educated guess here. Alright, second line. So uh, as you can see, I'm not straight. Well, and neither are the lines. And the goal here is really again thin lines because we're gonna we're gonna bulk it up and then technically the, there should never be like a in a in a real checkered situation there should never be like a straight line of one color because as soon as the the white square is done it should start the the black square the exact same spot right so so that's why we're trying to keep this as like as uh, as as tiny or as slim as possible. And this one's like really heavy because these, br for some reason, these brushes, they are not, I don't know. I don't know what it is. What, they're really weird, like the point, uh, I don't know. I, I need to try try these brushes a little bit more because I don't understand how they, they both like started out real fine. And then, uh, so now the, the easy strategy, like for speed painting and for army painting and everything, uh, I'll let you in on the secret. So the secret is you look at the worst square that you produced here in the entire fucking thing. And then you fill that one in black. So normally, if you, if you were m maybe a little bit more iron or less, like, I'll say press for time. If, if the goal was, like, not really speed painting, you'd try to do exact, always the exact same pattern. However, I like the, the idea that they, they're all slightly different. And, like, I'll let you in on another little secret that I learned. Every single tattoo artist that I've met told me that at least once in their life they filled in the wrong square in one of those patterns, okay? If you fuck it up, it's okay. Because tattoo artists have also fucked up and theirs is much worse than yours, okay? So, overall, I mean, for something that did not take us very long and uh, that I, I almost threw two paintbrushes uh, in the trash for... I'm pretty, I'm okay with this. I'm okay with this. Well, exactly. So now, next up, we'll do the, the entire freaking thing. So now, exactly the same strategy. We're starting over with our gray. And this is the reason why I picked this gray here. So let's draw gray. So now we're just going to do a circle in the middle of the thing. So middle is roughly here. We know we know middle is, is right on the line because we... And again, because we're freehanding this, this gives us the opportunity to cheat. So we are going to take this opportunity and we are going to cheat and we're going to build our circles around all these shitty squares. The shittier the square, you can bet you that the middle... But I mean... And now I believe Lamenters has is, is like a broken heart, right? Like they have the full emo treatment. It's not even like a, a full art, right? It's, it's a like broken or is it... The, oh, it's a, it's a heart with a, a little a little tear. And sometimes they do a, a black line out, outside their circle. I think you can do either. I don't know if that's easier or harder, to be fully honest. So now we're going to move on with the red. And the red is going to be our little heart thingy. So I'm actually... I did not have a... Uh, none of the hot chicks at my high school liked me enough so that I never learned that thing. I never had to write like these little letters. At least it, was, it looked like in the little illustration. So I'm happy with this. And we, we could have had like a, again a tactical arrow of some, of some sort on this other shoulder plate. But I I really like the color transitions. So I don't, I don't want to do anything on the shoulder plate. But you know. There we go. And then all that's left is that little purity seal here. So what we're going to do is we're just going to slam down that. Uh, and then I think we're going to do the eyes red as well. This is very... 
I've kind of given up on the smaller brushes, so we're just using this one. Alright, and Gerard is looking mighty fierce here. For uh, not that long. Alright, let's put Gerard back on the on the handle thingy just to get a better look. And guys, look at this. So I think about an hour 30 probably, something like that. And most of the time was spent on getting that yellow to this like crispy thing. And so it's really yellow and then spending as much time as you need on this little shoulder plate here. Make it pretty and then of course you can make it even more pretty than, than we just did. But uh, overall, like an army like this, it's uh yeah it's pretty cool can't even end on a good like emo joke like i was searching for a actively searching for a pun and i, I just failed failed to find